All right, so it looks like... What the f***? Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and welcome to Astray. So I'm going through my entire Steam library, and this was the first game that was on the Steam library for me to record for you guys. All I know is that this is a horror puzzle game. Uh, you can find more in the description. But let's continue on. Let's take a look at the controls. So we're definitely going to be going against someone spooky here. So we got the lean, the sprint, flashlight is F, jump, controls crouch, interact, grab. Okay. So I think this is fine. We're going to start a new game. I'm excited because it looks like it's going to be spooky. Several weeks have passed since anyone has heard from my uncle. He spends far too long holds up in that strange museum of his. Tonight, I'll visit the museum to check on him. The family is getting worried. Oh, shit. So, I, I'm not exactly sure what to expect in this game. But all I know is that I'm terribly... Let me see, What am I supposed to see here? I am god-awful at puzzles. What the fuck? What does that battery mean? Was I... I guess I was running away from something? I have no idea. All I heard was groaning and moaning. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to solve quite a few puzzles here. But, you know, before going in, I want to take a look around to see if there's anything for me. Ah, see, like this area over here. So, this is the leaning mechanics. I got the... Ooh, the crouch is super... I'm most likely going to have to do something with it. What is that noise? It looks like this might be the generator room. Maybe I wasn't supposed to find this just yet, but you know, I did. Wow, insane graphics. The graphics actually aren't that bad. Okay, so the, the battery is for my flashlight. But I know this, I think this is an indie game. All right, nothing's changing. Oh. Oh. I guess I can use these boxes to like climb over top of them or something. That's the only thing I can come up with. Is there something on one? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Let me try to get to the other side first before trying to do anything. I do have a jumping mechanism. I'm just hoping that I'm not alerting any big boys for this. Any, any sort of big boys. Okay, so his jumping ability is hot garbage. His jumping ability sucks. Need to bring it closer to me. So this is the only way over is through these things. What I can do is probably... I'm going to try to get it over there as best I can. But when I go over here, I'm going to pick up this bot. Ooh. Yes. Yes, King. 
Yes, King. I hope I don't run into anything. I'm pretty sure I had to do this for the front gate or something. I'm not exactly sure. I just hope I don't... I feel like I'm going to get scared here. I'm pretty positive that's what I had to do. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just wondering at this point. Especially, I don't even know what's happening with the one guy. Alright, so I have to get in here somehow. I turned off the electricity. I don't know what that did. Maybe it was something over here I had to do it with. Yes, King. Yes. Now we go inside this very suspicious looking building. Ooh, we got bolt cutters. Nice. This leads to behind. I don't know exactly what this will lead me to, but it could lead me to something. Or it doesn't really lead me anywhere. Probably would be good just in case like something came up. And I could juke it by going inside the house, but I'm not too sure. I'm not a big fan of that crouching ability, but, you know, I'll get used to it. But I think I did the two things I was supposed to do. But I'm not sure what I need... Oh, shit. I'm not sure what else I need to do. But I'm not sure why my uncle is not letting me come in. And what's with all these workbenches everywhere? Am I eventually going to be, like, crafting stuff, or is it just purely aesthetics? I wonder. I'm not... I don't know. But bef The fuck is that? Oh, okay. That's part of a Viking ship? Yes! If you see something, you should walk towards it, no matter what it should do to you. I'm guessing the front door isn't open. What was that noise? I didn't know I was... Ugh, this game's gonna give me a heart attack, I feel like. Oh, so it gave me like two separate locations for bolt cutters. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy indeed. I've got that item you were looking for. I'm going to have to ask twice for my usual fee for this one. It wasn't easy to obtain, but I know how much you wanted it. I'll be by the docks if you know how to spot it. Okay. Be by the docks. What is this? Oh, battery. Oh, fuck, I gotta pick up batteries in this game? Well, it makes sense as to why. Okay, can't get in there. So, like, the, there, it looks like there's areas I can and can't go into. I'm, like, preparing myself for some crazy shit here. I'm, like, well, maybe not crazy, but, like, stuff that's supposed to spook me, you know? Scary stuff. Scary, wary stuff. Ah. We're inside. Wait, let me, um, enable, uh, what's it called? I need to enable something. Yeah, it should be in the controls. I want to enable the, um... What is it called? Subtitles. Is there no subtitles? Really? I see no subtitles. Interesting why it doesn't have any subtitles. Oh, that was my phone. Didn't mean for that to go off. Okay, so no subtitles. You are now entering cold. 
All right, so it looks like... What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, I don't know what I'm supposed to be afraid of. I don't know what just happened. Dear sir, so it looks like I'm gonna have to read it. Oh, so this is in 1908. So this is set in a very um, early period. So dear sir, I, Professor Walker, cordially invite you and your family to attend a private showing at my museum of the supernatural on 24th of November. The evening will begin at 8 p.m. with refreshments in the main hall. Should you choose to attend, your family will be among the first to experience the museum's many fascinating exhibits, though some are still undergoing work at this time. Please RSVP by no later than 15th of November. Um, I hope you are able to accept my invitation and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yours faithfully, Professor Walker. Gotcha. All right, so what the fuck was I supposed to be afraid of in here? Is this guy gonna come to life? Is he gonna come to life and kill me? Is he gonna... Anubis, the god of death, is that a sign? Well, let's find out. We're going into Egypt. I don't know where we're going. Oh, shit. All right, well, let's go outside of Egypt first. I wanna see what else is in the area before we move on. But it looks like we got Atlantis, Stat Egypt, and Demonology. Perfect. Ah, yes! Let's go upstairs where the staff only is. So it looks like I gotta unlock these three areas. So it looks like they all require a key, which I get from each of these sections. So I'm just gonna go upstairs to the staff only area to see what is up there. So I'm assuming that when I walk, I make noise. But when I crouch, I don't. Oh, look, an empty, empty desk area. My favorite. There's like literally no lights. 13th of December, 1908. Dear Professor Walker, following last week's health and safety inspection, I am writing to inform you of the egregious health and safety oversights I have witnessed within your museum. All of these issues must be addressed before I can even consider giving you the green light to open to the public. Firstly, the elevators to the Atlantis exhibit and to the planetarium must have railings at least three feet tall to prevent visitors from falling from the elevator while it is in motion. The same restriction applies to the openings left when the elevator is not present. Secondly, while I appreciate your dedication to authenticity, I cannot allow open flames in public place in a public place. As such, all torches, bonfires, and the like must be removed or replaced. Thirdly, I asked your engineer about the safety measures implemented into various door opening mechanisms throughout the museum and was shocked to hear that there are none. These mechanisms absolutely have to be able to stop if blocked by a person or object. The same can be said for your elevators. Finally, all mazes should have clearly defined exits or staff on hand to guide people through should they get lost. I must have gotten stuck in one of your mazes for a better part of 10 minutes. Even more troubling, though, is that I have heard rumors of one of your elderly guest children becoming lost in the maze for hours and were actually locked in a museum overnight. I hope you can appreciate that there's just no way I can allow this museum to open in this state. Please contact me again once these issues are fixed and we can arrange a second inspection. I look forward to giving your museum a pass next time. So our museum's a fucking death trap. And now we have demons running loose in this fucking area. Great, great museum, Dad. Thanks. Oh, is there not a window in here? Fantastic. I'm not sure what the flashlight does for me, but I feel like it allows me to have something. So we're going to start off with Egypt, just because it's right there. And probably because I think it's going to be the spookiest out of the bunch. So I need to learn how to use my inventory. What is what does this mean? I have like dots. So let me go back to the controls, jump, crouch, sprint, lean. Okay, so K 
continue? Interact? I have no idea. But I am desperately going to need, I feel like, a decent amount of uh, batteries to even see anything remotely in here. Eat, I might have to keep it a little bit darker for right now, but in these super dark areas, I'm definitely going to have to change it. Hold left shift to sprint. Sprinting makes more noise. Thank you for telling me. Wait, is it going to completely replace my battery? Once I have a new battery that's in check. Okay, so... Not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm definitely... Lo Ooh, look, okay, a note. So I gotta be sparse with my, with my batteries. Professor Walker's Diary, 20th November of 1908. It's finally in my hands. Bella wrote last week to inform me that she had acquired the crystal fragment I was after. Of course, knowing how much I wanted it, she saw fit to double her fee. Certain that I'd pay any amount to get my hands on the ar artifacts. I don't think that's how you spell artifacts. Uh, this shard is unlike anything I've ever seen. It looks to have been cleanly cut from a much larger structure, but the material looks much too hard. Surely such a precise incision would be impossible. It's beautiful, truly magnificent. Magnificent, magnificent. Its dull glow is soothing, hypnotic even. Now I can probably put it on display in time for my pre-opening party next week. Who is, I mean, it's Professor Walker. So I wonder what the fuck is going on. These don't all look, oh shit. What did I just do? Oh, what the fuck? It gets hieroglyphics in there? I don't know what I just did. I have no idea what I just did. What does that button do? Okay, well, I have another battery. I don't know why... Oh my god. That's kind of annoying. I, pi I picked up another battery. Oh, maybe I only pick it up automatically and it does that stuff, but... You know, that is all the time I have for you guys here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to continue playing Astray until we solve these puzzles with little to no direction. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a fabulous day, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.